Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you are going to the United Kingdom for your bachelor's, master's, PhD, postgraduate, whatever education it is, guys, you must watch this video because it can actually save you thousands and thousands of pounds which you would have otherwise spent in tuition. So I'm gonna be doing that for you over here. Now for that, what I've done is I've collated a list of five such universities which are offering students scholarships every single term not only a little bit of scholarship but up to 100 percent of your tuition can be waived off completely so stay with me it's gonna be very, very beneficial i assure you and if you stay till the end you will have a special surprise towards the end great let's talk about the universities now the first one i'm going to talk about is cambridge university what's so special about cambridge well the scholarships that i'm talking about over here now there's one special thing in cambridge 85% of those are actually offered to postgraduates and only about 15% of these scholarships are offered to undergraduate applicants. So that's one major point to note. If you are going for an undergraduate degree, this point is probably a little bit, this university is a little bit weaker for undergraduates in terms of scholarships, but we have more coming up soon. What I really like about those is that all of these scholarships are merit-based. They don't consider, okay, you have to be from this specific country. Okay, you have to have this amount of panic in you, this amount of this in you. There's really nothing. I mean, as long as you're an international student, they generally won't say that, okay, you have to be from this country and this country only. You can basically be from any country. You can be, okay, you can be Indian, you can be Pakistani, you can be Bangladeshi, you can be Nepali, you can be, you know, Chinese. Whatever you are, in most cases, you will find a scholarship over here, okay? And the, the best part is they are merit-based. That means if you have performed well in your previous education, you know, in, uh, the track record has been good, well, you're in luck because you will have a lot of chances over here. So just to be actually sure, you can actually see this page. I'm going to be including links in the description, by the way. You can see this page for scholarships. They have actually a whole eligibility criteria and they have like an application process. How do you apply? Just to be very, very clear, no separate application is needed, which is a pretty good thing again, because you don't have to spend time applying again. Just by applying to their program, you're being considered for the scholarship automatically. And apart from that, if you would like to know which scholarships are offered for your country, basically there are scholarships for everyone out here but you know some scholarships are additionally also offered for some countries so you can actually select your country they have a whole scholarship search engine through which you will be actually able to search which scholarships are you eligible for right so there's basically information for undergraduate applicants there's information for postgraduate applicants there's additional scholarships you can take a look at these there's the application process right and apart from that of course i will be including the link in the description one thing to note over here is that I estimate that the competition at Cambridge will be lower from these years, uh, especially after 2021. Essentially, since the EU citizens, that is the European citizens, are actually not going to be eligible for home tuition. What that means is that they actually have to pay international student tuition. So they may not actually consider Cambridge as a great alternative. In fact, this may be the case with all of the universities in the UK at now. So UK is definitely a good destination at this point. The next one we're gonna be talking about is the University of Bristol. Again, why did I pick this university? First off, both graduate, undergraduate students, equal opportunities, you guys are both eligible. Apart from that, many merit-based, and I already explained what merit-based means, merit-based scholarships are available. One thing to be noted over here is when you go into their website, there is a separate application that you have to file for these scholarships. You're not automatically considered in most cases. So if you go to their website, you'll find that they have invested around 2 million euros in scholarship just for 2022. And apart from that, there's undergrads, there, there are postgrad scholarships. You can actually pick whichever one you want, right? And there's a lot of these. I would say go through each and every one of these links and you will find that there are all kinds of scholarships over here. For instance, one link that I've opened over here, this is for the scholarship search engine. And I'm gonna include this link as well in the description. You can actually search for the scholarships based on their name, based on your study level, based on your location, etc., etc. So basically you can see on the right, there are all of these filters that you can actually use to actually go ahead and find out which scholarships are you in particular eligible for. Now moving towards the University of Edinburgh. Again, guys, please note, all of these universities that I'm showing you, I've already researched, I've already checked. All of these universities should still be accepting applicants from all over the world in terms of, hey, look, if you are from Kenya and then you see this video and then you come to this website, it's not going to be the case that you won't find a scholarship. There's always going to be scholarships for you. For the most part, I've kept the audience in mind. I've seen the statistics. I know where you guys are watching from. So I've checked. You guys, you will always find scholarships over here. It's not the case that I haven't checked for your countries. 
Now, of course, coming back to Edinburgh, there's the funding for international students. The link is going to be in the description. Again, the awards can actually be filtered by the region over here. Okay, that you want them from the region. Okay, I want them only for India or I want them only for Bangladesh, right? Etc. Etc. Or you can do that from your, you know, College of Science and Engineering, whichever you're attending. If you're attending medical school, then you're uh, going to look at College of Medicine and Veterinary Medicine. So again, you can basically take a look at whatever you are going for and specifically they will show you the awards. For instance, if I just had to open up awards by region, it'll open up the page and it'll ask me to choose my region, right? So I'll say, okay, let's say I'm in Asia. Once the page opens up, you can actually see for Asia, these are the scholarships out there and you can actually go ahead and select the one that works for you best. So again, as we saw multiple scholarships based on location and your area of interest or study, up to 50% of tuition waivers are offered by the University of Edinburgh through these scholarships. Like I mentioned, for applying to these scholarships, a separate application may be needed in a lot of cases. For instance, just by going to, let's say, the School of Engineering, if I am opening up, let's say this International Master's Scholarship, you can see the eligibility over here, you can see the application criteria, you can see the deadline also is mentioned over here, and the deadline has not passed, and the online application is located at this link, you can actually go ahead. So again, separate application in a lot of cases. But the best part, most of these are merit-based, which you already know works in your favor if you have a good academic potential. Moving on to the next university, we have the University of Manchester. Yes, one of the top most universities again. And they've actually offered an award totaling 1.7 million euros just for this fall term. So you can, you can be very, very specific that, okay, just for the September term, if you are applying, you are bound to get something if you actually go ahead and use this video to your advantage. Now, the one thing I like about them is that they have listed the information in a country specific way so that whichever country you are from, you can easily find the scholarships for you. For instance, if I had to see the scholarship for, uh, for India, I have selected India over here. As you can see, you can see in the list over here, you can select India, right? And once you do, you go ahead to the scholarships button over here. Okay, so you, you, you have to basically press that. And then after that, you can find the award details. This is for undergrads. They have the same thing for masters. You can see that they are offering 80 merit-based master scholarships of 6,000 euros each to international students, domicile in these, these countries, etc., etc. right? So you can actually see the eligibility criteria. You can see the deadlines. And in how to apply, you can see that the application form will actually be emailed to all the applicants who are eligible. That means you first have to get the admit. Once you get it, they will email you the link and then you can go ahead and apply. So again, if I just had to show you another example for Bangladesh, I'll just click on Bangladesh over here. And then what I'll do is I will go on to scholarships. And once I do that, I'll again get the same thing. Just this time, of course, this will be for Bangladesh, etc., etc. You can do this for whatever country you are from and you will find all these scholarships. We do this a lot of times with students working with us at Weimgrad. So that's why we are very familiar with this page. There's one more thing. There is a scholarship search engine that I will be including in the link to the description. You can actually go ahead. You can filter these by your location, by your subject area, and it'll show you the relevant scholarships right in front of you. Now, moving on towards the final university for today's video, we have the University of Liverpool, which again offers scholarships to both undergrads and graduate students so no matter who you are you should be eligible for at least some level of scholarship over here i have picked out a few links for you which i believe are very very important i want you to take a look at those this one is for undergraduate scholarships and awards for international students entry 2021 the exact awards with the exact eligibility and the amount of scholarship etc has been listed in a tabular form which makes it very very easy for you to access these right again you can actually go ahead choose the master's scholarships you can choose the postgraduate scholarships etc etc there's a lot of these over here that are available and you can actually do your due diligence from this page there's a lot of information and i do advise that you spend some time on it for the master's scholarships this is the link i've already picked it out for you guys so you don't need to do a lot of work over here but you you need to come over here and you have to filter through all of these scholarships you have to see which ones you are eligible for and then you have to apply to the ones that you are eligible for there's two more extra scholarships that i picked out for instance Again, this is basically by searching on these pages only. ULMS Indian Subcontinent Scholarship. This offers a part fee waiver of up to 50%. And again, you can see right over here how to apply, etc., etc. Sometimes no separate application is needed. There's one more link I found. This is Sir Ratan Tata Scholarship. And again, this one actually covers 100% of your tuition and living expenses, which is major, which is a huge, huge advantage. But this is only for Indian students. So you have to really filter out the scholarships for you, which ones are the best, etc., etc. And then you go ahead and apply. 
right? A few things about these scholarships. As you can see, they're waiving 100% of your tuition in some cases. The eligibility criteria are pretty easy. You will easily qualify no matter which country you are from. You can see with, uh, you, there will always be scholarships available for you in most cases. And separate application may be required in some cases though. So that's one important thing to note. Now, since you stuck to the end, I have a bonus for you. If you are signed up on WAMGRAD or you have the WAMGRAD phone application, which you can easily get by using this link over here, right? You can actually go ahead to the scholarship section, by the way, uh, both on the phone app or on the website, and you can actually sort through all of these. We have 1500 plus scholarships right over here, which can help you in your journey, no matter who you are, whether you're applying right now, whether you're already studying, whichever country you're studying in, etc., etc. you should definitely consider working through these ones because they can save you a lot more money than this video of course all right i hope that this helps i wish to see you in the next one so please go ahead click the subscribe button because that helps me make more such videos for you guys and i'll be seeing you soon hopefully goodbye and take care for now Bye.